In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an Elsa Rainbow Loom girl. Um, it will not look like this. It will look like the Elsa, and instead of having pants, it'll have a dress, and her skin tone will be lighter because she's also. Then at the end, we'll show you how to wrap her braid around. Looks like hers. So yeah, first we're gonna start with how you set up your loom. So our loom will be set up at the air with the arrows at the bottom and the arrows at the top, like you would normally set up your loom. Now we're going to start with placing the band. Okay, so the ears can be facing you. It just makes your life easier so you don't have to turn around, but it's really your choice. So we're gonna start placing the hair. I'm using white because Elsa's hair is really like light, so it looks it's basically white. So what we're gonna do is go from this peg to that, like that. And you don't wanna go there to there or else it will not turn out right. Then go there to there. And then go there to there. And now we're going to start placing the face. So what you're going to do is to face um, the place, the skin tone, um, which is the face. You're going to go from this peg, double bands. This whole time it should be double bands to this peg, like that. And then you're just going to do that one time. Oops. And make sure like they're not all twisted up. And then you're going to go this peg to this peg. And then you're going to go down one more. You can do this in any order, but I just like doing it in this order, so I don't want to go back again. And then you're going to go from this peg to this peg. And then you're going to go from this side to this peg. You have to start with this side. Um, and then go from this side to this side. Or peg. Oops. And that's the face. So the neck is to make a neck, um, if you want it to be strong and stand upright like this one, as you can see, there it is, I would do two bands, um, just cause it would make it just stand up straight and three is kind of chancy, definitely not one though. So you're going to go from this peg to that peg. So I'm using a mixture of blues for my Elsa dress, but you can do whatever colors you want for blue. Um, so what you're going to do is go from this peg to this peg with two bands again, and then go this peg, oops, to that peg, and then you're going to go down the middle, and then you're going to go all the way down until, like, it's the two are here and then the one's right there. You can do it as long as you want. If you want any leg showing, I would stop. If you don't want any leg showing, just, like, go down here. So I went here, but for the when you're wherever how far you go, for the bottom of her dress, you're gonna wanna, I gonna wanna, you're gonna um go from this peg with navy blue to this peg. So for the legs, you're gonna go from this peg, use doubles again with your skin tone color, there, and there, and there and there and now for the feet you can just um take your hook and wrap it around as many times so if you um, want it to be very tight feet um well you can do it whatever color so actually i'm not going to use skin tone i'm going to use um these i'm going to use navy colored to cut um for her shoes so you're going to just wrap it around many times as you want. Make it like that. I did it. I did it five times. That actually may be too tight. Yeah, too tight. So um, I would stick to maybe wrapping around three times. So that's not even one. One, two, three at the most so yeah so then you just do that and then you take it off your hook and place it right there and then you repeat it oh gosh okay <laughs> you repeat it and you put it 
on this peg. So now what you're gonna do is um you can wrap it around your um take your skin color, wrap it on your finger twice, and go make an a um if the user are facing you, make a triangle. If they're away from you, make an upside down triangle. And then take your next band, do the same. Oh you wanna make sure that it does it is wrapped on twice. And then um, you're going to skip the neck and then take whatever color you want this it to be. Um, do the same thing. Oh, sorry. You don't do that one. I forgot. And then you just go like this one, this one. And then you do it all the way down, but not doing the legs uh, or just doing this. So to make the arms on the person, or on Elsa, what you're going to do is take um, your skin color and wrap it around. Um, putting it on like that doesn't count. One, two, three times. Then you're going to take two bands. And, and then just pull it through. And then you're going to take um, two more double bands and pull it through again. And then loop it back around. And you just keep on doing that until it's your desired length. And then to make the part um, of the sleeve, you're just going to do the same thing but with the colors that you want the sleeve to be. And then you take it off the hook and just put it back on and put it right there on the shoulder and twist it around so it's facing on the outside. Um, and then you just do it for the, um, you just do it again and then place it on this. So then you're just gonna go in here and the shoes are act as a calving band. Grab these two and bring it up and bring it to this peg. And then just do that all the way down um, and go from this peg to this peg. And then you're just going to do that for both sides, all sides going from here to here. But you're going to go in the middle next. And then this side. And um, for this one, you just pull it up and over, even though there's no capping band. So what you're going to do is go in here and grab, make sure, it may be a little difficult. You want to make sure that you're just grabbing those two bands, So There we go. Pull it up and bring it forward. Then you're just going to grab the first one, two bands, which uh, should be this side. Bring it up and bring it over, and then go, and then go um, and grab the next one, which will be this one. Bring it up to that peg, and then bring it up, and then just keep on going forward. But remember, don't do the hair. And then you go and do this one up, and then go in this one. Oh, you don't want to pull that. That'd be bad. <laughs> So what you do is you put it like this, and then do, oh. put it like that, and just keep on doing that until it's your, it, your desired length. So now you just put this on there, and then you hook, doesn't matter what order, you hook all of your bands like that. So we're gonna go in here, do this, pull it, oops, pull it through, hook it back like that, and then carefully take it off the loop. So now you're gonna take your clip and and then you can just put it in the back and hook it to just write a band and then it will be and then you can tuck it and then to make it look like a braid if you want it like you can make this will probably be the front um you can wrap it around like that and then you can take this little white band and put it like that and then um she doesn't have any eyes but um here is your elsa 
um, Rainbow Loom charm.